Hello everyone, Ed Knudsen here. Um, I heard that some people were having trouble booting into their BIOS on their virtual machines, so I'm going to make a little tutorial here for VMware Player and showing you how to set the uh, BIOS delay longer to make it easier to get into the BIOS on your virtual machines. So what we're going to do is we're going to browse to our virtual machine files and usually that's in your documents folder and then it'll be under virtual machines and then I'm working with the Red Hat Linux VM here and um, I got the information that we're going to be using from this knowledge base article here um, I'll post a link to this in the video information <coughs> and we're going to be adding first up we're going to try adding this line to the the code in the VMX file that's the virtual machine configuration file. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click it, we're going to click open with, we're going to choose the default program, and then uncheck this box here because we don't want to always use this to open, we don't always want to use notepad to open this type of file. We want it to still be associated with VMware player. So uncheck this box and click notepad and then click OK. So this is going to show us all the options that are set in our configuration file. Now at the very end here, we're going to add this line right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight it, right click, copy it, go back to my notepad here, and then I'm going to paste it right there at the end of the file. I'm going to click save. And now we can try booting this virtual machine here and it should boot to the BIOS right away. Okay, you see here, um, it is it was suspended, so what we're gonna do is we're going to restart it. So I haven't been using this for anything important, so I'm just gonna power it off, but you should never power off your virtual machines unless you're prepared for some data loss. And here we go, right in the BIOS here. So um, to control it, just click into the VM. And you can use your keyboard to navigate around. So we're going to exit here. That's going to boot the VM like normal. And I don't have anything installed here, so there's nothing to boot from. So I'm just going to power it off. OK. Now I'm going to close this here. And I'm going to show you what the configuration file looks like now because it actually changes the configuration file after you boot to the BIOS using that command for the first time. Oh, actually, it didn't do it. Okay, normally what I've seen it do is at the bottom here, it will have this line of code still here, but it'll change this to false. So if you go back into your virtual machine configuration file and you see at the end here that it says this with it set to false just backspace and set it to true and then reboot it because right now if this said false and then we went to the end here and we pasted the line that says true this is going to cause an error when you boot up your virtual machine so you want to only have this parameter uh, defined one time in here. So it'll say either false or true, or it won't be defined at all in this configuration file. So make sure that you satisfy one of those requirements. So I'm just going to leave this set to false. I'm going to save it. Okay. And then the second one, the second thing here is BIOS boot delay we can actually set the time by default that it delays the boot time so this is this first line here will say I want you one time only to boot straight into the BIOS next time you reboot this virtual machine this line here says I want by default there to be this specified amount of time on the BIOS so we can add this line to the end of this file here it looks like I uh, pasted this in the wrong spot here, so 
I'm going to backspace there to the end of that true statement there. And then I'm going to paste it in the right spot here. Now you see where it says x, 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 x here. We're going to want to put a value in there and make it um, something over a thousand probably. Um, it says here that this is set in milliseconds and there are 1,000 milliseconds in a second so if we set it for 1,000 that's one second we might want to set this to say five seconds. Let's set it for 5,000 that'll set it for five seconds. So now we've got um, boot to BIOS set to false and we've got the delay set to 5,000 so it should um, it shouldn't boot to BIOS and it should give us a delay on the BIOS of five seconds. So let's save this and test it out. Here's my VM again. Let's click play. Okay. Alright, we are going to want to look for that BIOS.force setup once um, command. It's saying that's defined multiple times. So this is something that you guys should look out for as well. So it is, we're going to look for BIOS dot. Okay, so I paused the video there and I found the other spot. It moved it up to this spot here. <coughs> so you see it's set um, twice. You can see BIOS dot force setup is set right there. And BIOS dot force setup is also set right here. So if you get that same error that I got when you boot your virtual machine, you probably are having the exact same issue. So look in your configuration file and delete one of the entries for BIOS.force setup once. And now resave it. <coughs> and now let's test out and see if our boot time has changed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay seemed a little bit longer than five seconds but you can see that we got a pretty good delay on our VM now so that should be all you guys need to help you out in with uh, getting into the BIOS